Hey guys, now I'm looking at back here for the Nevio guys. Before we start this video off, let's go ahead and say real fast that today I went ahead and posted the schedule for all my videos uploading to the channel and my second channel on my community tab. But I have a lot of videos going up on both channels today. So just go ahead and make sure you check out that community tab to get the you know better understanding of all the content going up. Make sure you also go ahead and hit that subscribe button on this channel, Hall Games, and my Twitch channel, that my gamer YT. Comment today coming from Jessica Bay who says, I hear 90s are pool ball from packs now. That is actually very true. I've seen a lot of people now pulling 90 overalls uh, from their actual packs, which is pretty dope. Nonetheless, guys, like gold for this video. Can we smash 75 likes? And finally, question of the day is going to go ahead and be, what's your prediction of Deion Sanders' price on Christmas Day? Now, obviously, right now, if we go ahead and look at Deion Sanders, his 92 overall legend, he is going for around 900,000 coins. Now, of course, like any card in this game, his price will continue to depreciate as time goes on, and it will just go down and down and down. What's your prediction on his price on Christmas Day? Honestly, I'm going to put him around 500,000 coins, but I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking down below. So let's go ahead and start off right away by saying welcome back to another episode of my Market Research Series. Every single Wednesday, we go ahead and make this series and we talk about the market, everything that has changed, has fluctuated, has gone up and down because of recent changes to the game. Now, we are currently right around our, you know, most viewed promo, which of course is the Halloween promo for Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Madden in general. Uh, nonetheless, though, that comes out in my, my prediction for that promo is the 19th of October. I believe that will come out in two and a half weeks. Nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and just cover a short breakdown of what will happen when it does release. What will the market look like? Well, first off, what we can, in you know, kind of infer from this promo is we're most likely going to get around three different captains or masters. Uh, we're going to have, I think, four different captains Probably not, but let me see eight different captains because I forgot we do have different, you know, branches depending on uh, scary strong, tall, and fast. Now, I did make a video today around 10 a.m., I'll link it up in the right hand corner, but pretty much I just go down my breakdown and my predictions on what I believe who will be the masters and the captains. Also, I do have a video on what to expect from this promo link, I kind of my in corner. Uh, nonetheless, so this promo will not crash the market as crazy as other promos have or that will in the future. Now, this is the first true holiday promo. What does that mean? First off, that means we will get new solo challenges. We will also go ahead and get new players in the game. Again, like the master sets and the captain sets. That will impact the market very greatly depending on what actually ends up being added to the game, like we'll say solo challenge wise, if there's a way to get a free captain or close to a free captain, that will bring down the price of the captain sets. That will bring the, down the price of a master set, which will go ahead and bring down the price of every card at that certain position. So for example, let's say, you know, we did get a Tony Gonzalez again, tight end card, right? We're not going to, yeah, he has a legend, I believe at the moment. Let's say he does though, right? Every tight end below him, and see, let's say he gets 94, every tight end below 94 will drop in somewhat in value, right? So the market will crash for that position. Now, of course, not every single position gets a card. A lot of positions do. And the good thing about this promo is that there's going to be a lot of new players at a lot of different positions. A lot of times the scary strong players will most likely be a linebacker, defense alignment, or offense alignment, right? While a, a fast player would be a cornerback and a receiver. Therefore, those positions, a lot of different positions, will be getting new players. So, the market will crash to a certain degree. It will not crash as a Christmas promo or Thanksgiving promo might crash it. But it still will definitely see a hinder in the value of a lot of different cards. Um, now, with the first holiday promo, we might be introduced, as I said, to 94 overall players. At the moment, I do not believe we have any 94 overall players. We we'll check right real fast. We have one 94 overall player in Mr. Ronnie Lott. Now, with the fact of adding 94 overall players, again, that just goes ahead and continues to uh, progress the system of getting higher and higher overalls. As higher and higher overalls come out, the lower overall cards slowly diminish in value. So let's go ahead and cover what cards have gone down in value right now. So that's a general 
understanding of what the market would be like during the, you know, Halloween promo. It will pretty much, it will go down for certain positions, but not go down for every single thing. Now, because of how the Halloween promo is made, where the players enrage on a certain weekend, you will have a lot of people, I'll say, let's say 20% of people will sell their teams because they want to go ahead and buy all the brand new cards for the Halloween promo. That will also bring down the price. So again, if you are thinking about picking up someone brand new, do not pick up someone brand new until the Halloween promo drops. I believe we'll drop in two weeks and that only goes if you're trying to pick up someone, you know, who's like 6 million coins, right? 600,000 coins plus. Don't pick them up to the Halloween promo. So, players that went up in value, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Sheldon Rankins, uh, Gary Conley, Antonio Brown, Derek Henry, Anthony Sherman, Wesley Woodyard, Michael Vick, Jason Kelsey, and Mark Keats Pouncey. Kind of funny, Wesley Woodyard is 17% uh, down, yet he's on the market gainers. I think that's because his price did go a little bit up, uh, because PAX actually went up. If you guys do not know, PAX, uh, Team of the Week, you see all the Team of the Week cards, or three of them went up. And the reason why is because packs actually also went up. Now the packs of a team of, uh, cost of a team of the week pack is 28,000 coins. It used to be 17,000. It actually almost doubled the value of that pack. For I don't know why they did it. Honestly, I don't know why other than just give more value to the team of the week cards. Nonetheless, though, that actually doubled. So therefore, these team of the week cards will go up in value somewhat. Now, not every single team of the week card comes out, or well, sorry, will go up in price, mainly because of the fact they have specific uh, packs to whatever week is out. So, for example, week four team of the week cards will go up in value because of the fact that the pack is more expensive, but team of the week, uh, you know, three, one, two, three, those cards won't go up in price because they don't have, you know, they're not in packs. So, they're not in these specific packs. So, hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I didn't confuse any of you guys. But you can see the market losers right here. We have a Core Elite. We have a Rising Star. Again, we're going to see a lot of Rising Stars. <laughs> going to be going down in value. Because they don't really have too many crazy value. After after the week that they're out. They're really just not that useful anymore. And a lot of times, I said this before. That they're not even up on the auction block anymore. Tight week kill power up has gone down a little bit more. We have Shed, we have Mike Vick, we have CJ Mose, we have Jason Kelsey, we have EJ Manuel, and of course we have Patrick Ricard. Now the cheapest training at the moment, as you can see, we have 900, um, 900 coins. 60 uh, coins per training point is the best you can get at the moment. If you can find Deshaun or Deshaun Hamilton for 900 coins. Go ahead and pick him up and then quick sell him for your training value. Now, if you want to go, you want to not give yourself a headache, Trent Williams probably would be the best option right there if you have a lot of coins and you want to get a lot of training. Uh, most expensive players are still Ed Reed, Steve Smith, Steve Atwaters, Ronnie Lott, Marcus Peters, and Deion Sanders. But Deion Sanders, again, his price is dropping very, very quickly. That's why I wanted to go ahead and ask you guys the question what do you believe his price would be? on Christmas. Maybe below 500,000 coins in all honesty. Daily snipes you can see right here. Definitely some pretty good snipes. I never have my luck at getting these type of snipes that everyone else does. I don't know how they do it. I think they're magical, but it's whatever. With that in mind, let's go ahead and switch over to PS4. PS4, you can see, is the exact same concept, except everything's more expensive. I swear to God, I said that every single time. It's so true. Everything is so much more expensive on PS4. Cheapest training is 70 uh, coins per training point, all the way up to 75. You can see the market losers for PS4 are going to go ahead and be some more rising stars, some legends, and again, some more power-up cards. Power-ups, as if, I said this a million times, but they fluctuate so much in value. And I've said, I, I, I made my peace with everyone who's told me you should invest in power-ups. And I made my peace of saying you shouldn't. At this point, I mean, power-ups, they are insane when it comes to, like, the value going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's, it's insane. Nonetheless, though, as you can see, the market gainers, Deion Sanders, been a little bit up in value. Alvin Kamara did, too. Now, PS4, you can see the uh, most expensive players going to be Ed Reed, Morton Anderson, uh, Steve Atwater, Steve Atwater, oh, Steve smith Senor, Steve Atwater, Ronnie Lott, and Marcus Peters, not Deion Sanders. I actually want to see real fast, what is Deion Sanders going for on PS4? Actually, I could just pull this up. He is going for... 
889,000 coins. Interesting. Usually PS4 is always more expensive, but not the case uh, for Deion Sanders. Uh, daily snipes are going to be right here, as you can see on the right-hand side of your screen. A couple 100 coin snipes. Not bad at all. And now PC, where three people play. Guys, we all are going to take a moment to honor the three people that play PC. Good job. You play PC. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah. You could fill a room with people who play PC. Nonetheless, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And how do you believe the market will be affected from the most viewed promo? Do you believe that the market will completely crash? Or do you think nothing will happen? Also, tell me down below. Are you investing in the power-ups? Are you that man? <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Peace out.